the city of Raleigh, Wake County and the U.S. Census Bureau kicked off the 2010 census this morning. So this is a good day to go over what is legitimate census work and what might actually be something shady. Beverly Baskin with the Better Business Bureau is here now to explain. Beverly, thanks for coming in today. I'm glad to be here. All right, first of all, go over some uh, key dates coming up for census events that the public should be aware of. Well, it's actually underway. We uh, have a preliminary round of uh, cards going out telling people to look for their census. The actual census will be mailed sometime around the 15th of March. So folks should start uh, getting those in their mailboxes sometime after that. And, uh, and then there will be follow-ups. Um, of course, Better Business Bureau is urging people to get those back as quickly as possible. Tell us about the different surveys that people will be asked to complete. Well, the U.S. Uh, Census Bureau is sending out, basically it's just one survey. It's a 10-question survey. It's very short. Now, a very small sample of U.S. citizens will also receive a survey called the American Community Survey, uh, which is much more detailed and it does ask for a lot more information. But most citizens should just receive a simple 10-question questionnaire. Are there some questions that you just won't find on a 2010 census that people should be aware of? Absolutely. If you get the short census, you are going to be asked for some basic information about the people in your household, telephone numbers, just very basic information. What the census will not ask you and what census workers coming to your door will not ask you are things such as your social security number, any personal identifying information such as bank accounts, uh, PIN numbers, birth dates. None of that information will be asked by the U.S. Census Bureau. Are you getting any information that uh, scam artists are already trying to get in on this in terms of getting information and scamming people out of uh, very important information? Absolutely. It happens every time there's a, a census and, and it's happening again. Most of these scammers, I think it would be very important to keep in mind, are going to be coming in a couple of different ways. First of all, if you get an email from the U.S. Census Bureau asking you for any personal information, delete it immediately. It is not. The, that is not a venue or a, a medium that the U.S. Census Bureau will use. They will not send you an email. If someone comes to your door and they do not have a, a badge identifying them as a worker for the Census Bureau and a, they will have a bag with the uh, U.S. Census Bureau on it as well as a binder. If they don't have that information, do not let them or any stranger into your home and call immediately. You can verify if you have any doubt. Call your regional census office and ask them if they are campaigning in your neighborhood. Good advice. Beverly Baskin with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you so much for coming in today.